Hello everyone, Leah Dixon here from Port Coquitlam, British Columbia. Um, I am joining you live today um, for my regular Wednesday morning Facebook Live. I will apologize right away if the sound's kind of off or the lighting's a little bit off. I can see the lighting on my face is a little bit strange and shadowy. I am in the process of rearranging my, um, my studio and so I've kind of got makeshift lights happening right now and stuff is everywhere. My desks are all moved around. So I might have trouble finding things or um, hopefully the lighting's okay today. So um, I am joining you today to share with you um, a bundle. It's actually a bundle, Stamp Set and Dies, from the mini catalog. And it's called the Rainbow of Happiness Bundle. So I'm going to switch over to my desktop and um, share that with you. Okay, here we go. Awesome. So this is our Rainbow of Happiness bundle. It is a stamp set and dies. And what's really cool is, um, although the dies don't actually cut out the bits that you stamp, you can stamp a rainbow or you can die cut a small rainbow. You can die cut a large rainbow or you can die cut an itty bitty one or you can do an entire border of rainbows. So it's like truly like rainbow craziness here. Um, so it's pretty awesome. And then we've got the sweet little clouds in various sizes, actually, um, which makes for some really fun, sweet cards. Um, so today, well, I hope I've gone live in all the right places because it's showing that there's nobody watching. Hmm. Interesting. Um, well, fingers crossed that I've gone live in the right place or that you guys can catch this on the replay. Hopefully it's recording at least and I can upload it later if this isn't actually going live. All right, um, so we're going to be creating with these. I'm actually only using um, a sentiment from our stamp set today, and I'm going to be focusing mostly on these dies because I find them so fun to use. Uh, so I'm going to move some stuff out of the way. Oh, excellent. I just saw somebody pop on, so I did actually go live. That's wonderful. <laughs> So I was just saying, hi, Corrine. I'm going to be working with the Rainbow of Happiness bundle today. And um, if you missed the beginning, I did apologize for my strange lighting today. I am in the middle of reorganizing my office, and so I kind of have makeshift lights happening today. Um, and I don't know, like, all my product is kind of in strange places. So hopefully I can grab everything I need. Um, so today's card, we're actually going to create a beautiful little rainbow card in some lovely, actually subdued rainbow colors. Um, I have the two sweetest students in my class. Well, most of them are pretty sweet, but these two little girls in my class who are so, so sweet, and they've been making paintings for me, like on canvases and everything to hang up in the classroom. Um, and so I wanted to just create um, little thank you cards for them. Sorry, I just remembered I poured a coffee and I never even took a sip before I went live, so. <laughs> it's been one of those mornings. Everybody's been running late. All right, so for this card, I started with a thick white card base. And then I've got this gorgeous piece of old olive and pear pizzazz designer series paper. And when I flip it over, you'll know exactly which set this came from. It's from our peaches. Um, so let's see, I have the whole thing here because this paper is retiring, you guys. So we've got these gorgeous balmy blue dots with peaches on the other side. We've got the beautiful pear pizzazz and old olive with the, the flowers that go on our peaches. We've got the calypso coral dots that I adore with peaches on the back. And just, it's a really beautiful designer series pack because one side is very peachy. And the other side is just these great kind of neutral backgrounds. Um, so I am going to be using um, one of those neutral backgrounds today. I have got um, just this pear pizzazz side and we're just gonna glue this straight down to our card base. All right, so here we go. Don't tell me I'm almost out. Oh, there we go. All right, so this designer series paper, oh darn it, I forgot to write down the price. Um, it is on sale right now, you guys. 
because it is part of our last chance list. So it is or was as of 7.30 this morning, still in stock. Um, the thing with the last chance items is they're only in stock until they're not and then they don't get replaced. <laughs> so although the last chance sale goes all the way to May 2nd, um, if something's gone, it's gone. All right, so we have that beautiful background in our pear pizzazz and then I am going to create like a little, um, I call them card candies, a little layer that's going to go on top of this. So I'm going to set this off to the side while we create our little layer. I've got a piece here, um, three and a quarter by four and a quarter of crumb cake and I'm going to bring my little mini in here and we're going to cut this little guy up using, um, the stitched so sweetly dies. Now I could cry, you guys. These dies have been um, a set that I have used on like almost every card for I don't know three years, um, maybe more. And these little guys are retiring this year. As of May second, you will no longer be able to um, purchase these. So if you do not already own these dies, let me tell you, I won't be selling mine. Um, they are too perfect for too many things. Just the different, the way the labels layer up and the itty bitty scallop, it's just, they are my favorite. Um, if you've ever bought a tutorial from me, you'll see Stitch So Sweetly dies in pretty much every tutorial I've ever written. All right, there we go. So I'm not actually going to put that away too far because I'm going to need that mini back again. So our beautiful, and it's so nice because it's not just scalloped edges, it's also the little stitching in there. So it's just, they're so sweet. All right, so my stitch so sweetly dies off to the side. I, I heard a little thing the other day from one of my friends. She said, put it away, don't put it down. And that is something I really need to, um, to work on myself because I am getting my stamp room um, reorganized, and as it gets reorganized, I would like it to stay organized. <laughs> so, there we go. All right, now I have this whole color palette here. These are a bunch of our soft subtles. Um, I almost went like, you know, top to bottom on our color chart. I've got Calypso Coral. Um, I always forget which one this is. This one is not Petal Pink, it's Blushing Bride. Yeah, um, so Calypso Coral, Blushing Bride, So Saffron, Pear Pizzazz. And I'm going to cut out a tiny rainbow in each of these. So we're actually going to bring our mini back in. And I'm going to cut through these four times for our four little rainbows. So we've got our tiny rainbow die here. I'll just pull it out. So we've got this little guy. And I'm just going to run him through on each of these colors. So there we go. Hi, Noelle. So as I'm running these guys through, because, you know, when you've seen it once, you've seen it every time. Uh, <laughs> as I run these little guys through and uh, set them off to the side, I just want to share with you that I do have an upcoming card class featuring this stamp set and it's just kind of a I don't want to say a basic card class because you know I do try to make not super basic cards but it's a basic card class in that it's not like um, one of my classes where you get a bundle of anything you just are going to get the make and takes and um, and the PDF and the video and everything. Um, but there's no like bundle of product or anything that goes with it. If you do want to add on the bundle, um, like the stamp set and, uh, and dies because you don't already own them, then you can definitely do that. And I have a little deal going on for that. Um, but otherwise it's just a $20 class and then an extra five for shipping if you can't pick it up locally. Um, and we're going to be creating some really fun stuff, trying to use a wide variety of the dies and stamps in this. So each card will be quite unique. All right, we've got one more to do here. And these are starting to stick. So I think it's almost time for me to get new plates. 
I am just going to flip my plate this time though and hope that that helps a little bit. The other side's a little bit better. Um, these are consumables, these plates, but I do try to kind of get the most out of my plates before I replace them. All right, and my last one. Oh, good morning, Janet. All right, so what I love is that my cute little mini now has its own shelf right beside me. So I can literally put it away instead of putting it down on top of something. And I can actually keep my room super duper organized. Um, I'm almost finished getting set up to be able to do in-person classes again, which is super exciting to me. Good morning, Eileen. Good morning, Val. Yeah, I haven't seen your name pop up in a while. Um, hope everything's been going okay. Um, I think also because I used to go live on Tuesday mornings and I've switched to Wednesdays this year because it's my day off this this school year. Um, yeah, so I'm almost set back up for in-person because during COVID, I kind of rearranged my room and took over my studio table where um, guests would stamp. And so I've been having to do a lot of work to get it kind of back into a condition where I could actually have other people in here, not because of COVID, but simply because of the disaster I made the room. Um, <laughs> actually couldn't fit other people in here. So I've been really, um, really busy working on that. All right, so now before we start attaching any of these rainbow pieces to our card, I am going to stamp a sentiment on here. And so I have chosen, what does it say? A little something to brighten your day. Um, and I'm gonna give them these cards. So at the beginning I was saying, I have two students who have been painting me um, the sweetest little um, canvases, like tiny, I don't know, like probably five by five canvases to put up in my classroom. And so I now have like a giraffe and a dragonfly and. They're just, they're super sweet. They're all done in my favorite colors. And um, so I wanted to give these students a little thank you. So a little something to brighten your day. And I just stamped that in Versamark. Um, and now I'll grab my white embossing powder and go over that. And just tap off the extra. And double check that that's got all the little extra bits off. And if you have little stray pieces, you can go in with a small paintbrush or you take a pick tool and wipe away those extra little dots. All right. So with that done, I'm going to heat emboss this. There we go. So sweet little sentiment. And now that we've got that done, I'm going to actually start putting my rainbow onto my card. So you'll see I cut out each rainbow in like the whole thing in a color. And I'm just going to start building. So I don't need that large one. And I'm just kind of checking out spacing on this one and laying them in where I'd like them. And what's cool about this rainbow is now I have all these extra rainbow pieces and I can make other rainbows and kind of change up the color patterns. So there we go. So a kind of non-traditional color pattern for my rainbow. Um, just like that. And so then like I could build another one where I've got that, I can't remember if it's Petal Pink or Blushing Bride at the top. And then, you know, we could go in and do Calypso Coral. And so you can just keep doing these in any old color patterns and changing them up and um, getting cute little, cute little rainbows. Now, what I do with all these extras, because obviously I only need one rainbow on here. Hi, Tracy, is I have a little baggie where I keep my extras. And so I'm just going to pop all these guys in to my baggie. And then, you know, on those days when you don't feel like die cutting, 
you just go into the bag and start putting together rainbows. Um, it's great. And for me as a school teacher as well, if at the end of the day I'm like, oh, I've got too many collected and I'm just not going to make rainbows with all of these, I'll just take them into the classroom and show the kids that it's a four layer rainbow and let them have at her because they're going to have a blast with those. Okay, so now my little rainbow before I glue it down, well, actually, no, I can glue it down first. I'm going to grab my glue and I am using liquid glue. I could have put adhesive sheet on the back. But I find there's a lot of wastage if I do that um, because this piece, like I might actually use this for something else, but it's really a lot of wastage to put um, adhesive sheet on the back of that one. So these are actually pretty easy to glue down. So I've got my pair of pizzazz and I'm just going to dot along my rainbow and move in a little spot for my Thumb, I will go back in and fill that spot in. So now I'm just going to hold it from the edges. And there we go. So with all those dots around there, I am going to carefully lay this down on my card front. And what I'm looking at is to get the two ends as straight as I can. Now, having them completely level is actually not necessary, which is really nice about this rainbow. It's possible, like I could have maybe even drawn a line on here and definitely gotten it straight, but I'm going to be putting um, clouds on the base, which means it's not at all necessary to make this um, leveled. All right, and then I'm just gonna come in with my next one. I remembered to hold it properly this time. So just holding it from the outside edges so that I can do the full dot. And then, come in here. there we go. And they're pretty easy to line up. Um, and then just with the liquid glue, you wanna just hold it down long enough that it actually grabs before you kinda let go. All right, I've got two more here. So just tiny little dots of glue, then they don't squish out the sides when you put them down. All right, and the last one. It's a little bit trickier to hold. There we go. And pop that in. All right. So we've got our little rainbow glued down. Now I'm going to cut out those um, leaves to go on this little guy. And I didn't want just plain old white leaves. I did think about using the supple shimmer paper, but it just seemed so crazy bright. So what I decided on in the end that just makes a really beautiful um, little um, cloud is, oh, I always forget the name of this one, the Mother of Pearl Specialty Paper, and this is actually in our mini right now. Uh, so I'm just going to come in here, and perfect, I've just got a little scrap from, I think I was using this when I made the All Squared Away cards. I used this as part of it. So I'm just gonna grab that little scrap that I got, grab my plates back, and I'm gonna cut out two of the largest, Clouds. Now, when you look at these, you might be thinking, well, they all look the same to me. But you've actually got, you've got the double, this tiny guy, and then this guy is actually just a tad bit larger. And what I like about him is because he's larger, he actually covers all of the ends of each side of the rainbow. All right, so we're going to roll this through twice. Right, and... Another one. I love that these little clouds are so tiny that, you know, this beautiful specialty paper, I can literally just be using scraps and not feeling like I'm digging into a big piece of paper. There we go. So I'm kind of on a mission. I've been creating cards like crazy um, to use up bits. I, it's been like my mission, like, don't cut into anything new, just use your scraps. 
and I've been having so much fun with it. Um, really, really enjoying it. It's very satisfying to like finish off a package of something. Um, I used to be like the total paper hoarder and not use any of my DSP ever because it was too pretty to use. And now it's like an accomplishment to like finish a pack and use every scrap. Um, so now I've got those sweet little clouds and I am going to actually just attach them with liquid glue again. So I'm just going to do a few dots on the back. You know, normally I use that thicker end, but these guys are so tiny that we're just going to do a few dots in the back. And so you can see there, it just perfectly goes from one end to the other of that rainbow and hides any imperfections in like getting them level or anything. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And then you just kind of want to make sure your clouds are level and then your rainbow will look level. Awesome. So there we go, we've got that done. Now I'm gonna grab a piece of um, white twine and I'm just going to wrap this around and trim off a little piece here. There we go. And so that white twine comes actually in a package. It's called the Essentials, and it's got um, five colors, uh, white vanilla, Sahara sand, crumb cake, and black, I think it is. Um, and so really nice package of neutrals, just that basic color scheme that you need. So I tied it in a knot, and then I'm going to do my bunny ears and make a bow here. There we go. And so these little guys, I call them card candy because you could actually just like make up a ton of these and save them and then throw them onto any background and like have wildly different looking cards. Um, so there we go. Almost done. And a little snip snip on the ends of these. There we go. Now, our little card candy, we are going to add to our card front. And I'm going to pop that on with dimensionals. So let's see, actually, I have these little guys left over. I'll put them in the middle. I'm just using up the edges on my dimensionals as well. And then to my corners. There we go. All right. So, pull these off. There we go. And our card is nearly complete. So, we're going to pop that right down in the center. There. And we're going to add a little embellishment. And the embellishment that I'm going to add today is actually the polished dots. And so, they come in like this. Um, kind of, I guess, blushing brightish color and in clear. I'm actually gonna use the blushing bride color today and pop these on here. Oops, come on. There we go. Just a little bit of bling on there. And we're gonna put those away. And that is our finished card. So just a really sweet, oh, hi, Maria. Just a really sweet color combo. I'm not sure the lighting is not great. I can't wait to get the proper lighting set up in here. Um, but yeah, just a sweet little subtle card. And then I wanted to share with you that this exact same card, I used um, the blue paper from the Peaches pack. And I used the supple shimmer cardstock to make my clouds. And I used a wildly brighter cardstock combination to create almost the same card, um, but in really, really bright colors. Oh, thanks, Valerie. Um, thanks, Janet. So this one is much more um, like bright and wild. So it's um, magenta or sorry, melon mambo 
Mango Melody, Granny Apple, and Highland Heather. And so a really, really bright color combo. And I just um, use blending brushes to put a little bit of balmy blue in the background. Um, these are still the polished dots, same um, Stitch So Sweetly border. The supple shimmer for the clouds instead of the um, Mother of Pearl. And so it's just a brighter, more fun, lively card. And then this one to me, like this one would even be perfect with like a little welcome baby or something on there, like a very subdued, soft card. Um, so this to me actually perfectly matches the two students who painted for me. Um, one of them painted this gorgeous dragonfly and all these beautiful subdued um, purples and turquoises and everything. And it's just like this very serene painting. And then the other student is a very lively, bubbly student. She painted me this wild, bright colored background on a giraffe. And so same card um, with a different feel for each of the two students. So love it, love it. This is such a fun set to play with. And I love how color can make a card like really completely different. Um, oh, thank you so much. I know they're both fun. I don't, I don't, I actually don't know which one I like more. Um, <laughs> they're very different, um, even though they're exactly the same card. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope by next week I actually have my full studio um, completed, set up, proper lighting. I actually know where all my tools are and um, all of that. But yeah, in the meantime, I am getting ready for the Rainbow of Happiness card class at the end of the month. So I did put the link for that in the description of today's video if you wanted to register for that. And um, Oh, there's so much going on. Um, you can pre-register right now for um, my In Color Club as well. And I'm hoping that my box of supplies is actually going to arrive tomorrow from my pre-order. And I'm going to go through and do a little unboxing video for you guys and share those colors with you. Um, they're they're beautiful just such fun colors and so i can't wait to share that with you and everything else you can see it all on my link tree i have a ton of stuff coming up in april and even more coming up in may um so yeah that's about it you guys have a great day and thanks so much for watching bye